G'day legends, Merry Christmas. I've been asked a lot to do a what's in my kit bag video and today on Christmas day I thought I'd do it. So this is why I've got the hat on. So here we are in Perth, Western Australia on Christmas day and today I'm gonna to do a what's in my kit bag. So Merry Christmas, I hope you enjoy this video. So we'll open her up, I'll change out of, change out of my Christmas hat into my normal hat. Open her up, I've got the Grove uh, cricket bag, Grove Limited cricket bag, which I really like, it's simple pretty basic, um, a nice big pocket, wheelie bag, and then three pockets at the front. Um, okay, so I try and keep my kit bag quite neat and tidy. As you can see, everything's got a spot, a space. Um, I don't like just having everything everywhere because that means I can't find things. I know that if it's tidy and I look in it, then if something's missing, I, I know what's missing. I can sort of look for that. So on top of the bag here are my spikes in my spikes bag. Um, an old bag, old ASICS bag, ASICS spikes. I love ASICS, um, love my new runners from ASICS as well. So it's an old bag, but I keep my spikes in there just so that they don't damage any other equipment. Just keep them inside the bag. The zip's broken, but it does its job. So that's the first thing on the top there. Leave them over here. Um, I've got my baseball glove, um, which I use for coaching, so I carry that around. Sometimes it's in my kit bag, sometimes it's out of my kit bag if I'm just coaching from shut. Um, but this apparently is the first baseman's glove, so I can. it's easy to scoop the ball up when it's sort of rolling along the ground, so that's in there. Um, got a bag of tennis balls, again, really good for training. I love um, practicing myself with tennis balls, and I love using them with my, the athletes I coach. Really good for technique, really good for waiting for the ball, not pushing at it, making you hit with shape, hit the ball late. So I've got a little bag of tennis balls, and I love this bag. Tom's the shoes. Um, obviously is my name, so I use that bag, which I really enjoy. Um, what do we got next? Onto the sidearms. Um, I've got this sidearm, which I've used for a long time, um, which is pretty good, um, pretty, pretty uh, accurate, pretty reliable, but I've just started to use the Robo Arm from Tech Sports Australia, um, which I really, really like. You can adjust the settings here. You've got uh, nine different settings depending on how fast you want to throw and what lengths you want to throw, and that really allows you to bowl a lot quicker. I started using it in, in India last week, really enjoyed it, and I could, noticeably, I could noticeably see the difference in how fast I was throwing it. So really recommend the Robo Arm, and guys, if you're interested in getting one, you actually can get a discount through us, um, and we get a little bit of support if you purchase one and use the Cricket Mentoring Code. So all that information will be in the description below, but highly recommend these Robo Arms. Um, next thing is my thigh pad from Grove, who are our great sponsors, um, great supporters and partners. Grove thigh pad, exclusive. It's, it's pretty bulky, it's pretty thick, um, but lots of protection. It takes a bit of time to get the, uh, get the padding molded to your leg, but yep, really, really good thigh pad, high quality thigh pad. Um, onto gloves, I've got four pairs of gloves in here at the moment. Uh, two older pairs that I sort of have had for a while. Um, I've got these red ones that I've had for a while, another older pair, and then at the start of this season, start of this current season, I've got two new pairs from Grove, um, so one's pretty new, one I've been wearing a fair bit. These are the exclusive range, really comfy, awesome, awesome pair, pair of gloves, good leather, nice and soft, plenty of um, room for breathing for your hands so you don't sweat too much. And, I like how it's not just one straight finger, it's the um, different knuckle pads, which is super, super comfy. So I love these Grove gloves. So we've got four pairs of gloves. Um, the, the older two don't really get used anymore. They're just there as extras, but I don't really, don't really use them anymore. I've actually got a set of Grove stickers in my bag, which I need to put on an older bat that's in here that you'll see in a minute. So they're ready to be used any day. I've got my Perth Cricket Club helmet, uh, nice helmet, got the Stem guard on the back for safety, for protection. I think all everyone should have that. Yes, it can be uncomfortable, but once you get used to it, it's fine and it's just extra safety. I think you'd be stupid not to wear that. Missouri helmet, nice, comfy. Quite heavy, that one, though. Um, this is something I use a lot of in the nets, is a chest guard. I got, I got this custom made when I was playing in England many years ago. Sits around my, my chest like this. Nice and comfy, sits right in there and you can hardly feel it, and it just gives me a bit of extra confidence knowing that if I miss one, or the wickets, especially on training decks, are doing a bit, even if it's only medium paces, I don't care, I put this on, I always train in this, just to give me a bit more confidence, a bit of padding and protection on my chest. I think a lot of young players 
sort of try and be tough, they get hit and it can really affect their confidence against the short ball. So don't be afraid to get something to protect you in practice sessions in training. So that chest guard, I've got my black trousers, which I wear. These were recently swapped out for an old um, Middlesex pair, of, which I had in there for probably over 10 years. But these are the Perth, the old Perth uh, one day trousers. So they stay in there. They don't get washed very often. They're a bit gr grubby. But I, I, every time I bat, I wear my trousers. I don't like batting in shorts. So they're in there. Um, onto the pads. These are our one day pads, black Grove exclusive. Um, we've just finished, we, our last game was a 2020 and then going into the start of new year, we're into one day cricket. So it's white ball cricket, colored clothing, black pads. I actually got these from Adam Voges when he retired. He obviously had these, he was an, he's an owner of Grove. He used to use Grove and he, um, he would wear them when he played for WA, but also Melville at my old club was black. And fortunately I've gone to Perth and the, our color is black as well. So beautiful pair of Grove um, pads, really, really comfy. I love the shape, love the mold. I must have dived on the um, crease, it's a bit white there. But yeah, excellent, excellent Grove pads. Um, and I have a white pair as well, they don't fit in here at once, I leave them in the back of my car and when it's red ball cricket, I, I swap the black out for the white and vice versa. So onto my, onto my bats, this is um, a bat from I got from Sam Robson, it's a grey nickels and I've taken all the stickers off, I've got to get a little bit more of the glue off, still a bit of glue there and then I'm going to put those Grove stickers Onto this bat, it's a nice bat from a good mate Robbo, played for England. Um, and he's, he changed from grey nickels to GM, so he had a few extra bats and he was um, very generous and, and gave me one. So pretty good stick. I got a, haven't really used it too much in the nets a few times, but picks up well, pretty good. Um, this was my baby. This has been an absolute belter. It's actually a kookaburra. It was from Chris Rogers. Um, and I've just maintained it. So obviously with Grove being our partner, I put Grove stickers on it. I've had it for ages, but it's just broken again at the toe, which you may or may not be able to see. There, I've had it refurbed probably five or six times. It broke on this side. I had it refurbed. It's pretty much done now. It's an absolute weapon. I really, really like this. I used to get all my bat bats from Buck, um, being one of my best mates, and he used to be sponsored by Kookaburra and get lots of gear. So really fortunate to get that um, when I was playing and still before we started using Grove. So this was an absolute weapon, but it's had its day. And now this is my new baby. I've got the Grove um, bat cover to keep it in good shape, make sure it doesn't get damaged. So it sits inside the Grove bat cover. Um, and this is it, the Grove maker's choice. Absolute beautiful bat, lovely, lovely pickup, two pounds, seven. Um, huge profile, skinny handle, which I love. I love a white handle, skinny handle. Um, I've got the Cricket Mentoring sticker on the back. And this is awesome. Absolutely love this, the Grove Royale. Now, on top here, I've got the um, Smart Cricket Bat Sensor, which you just basically put on the top of your bat, like this. It just You just put a little bit of, so the sensor's in the top there. It then rolls on to your handle. Your handle, your grip goes on top. It doesn't affect your grip at all. It's not, it doesn't make the bat weigh anything different. But the data that comes out of this is awesome. I, um, I used it for the first time in India last week. I thought it was really fascinating and I've, I've started to use it a little bit since I've got back. The data that comes out of this, this is brilliant. It's about, it's about your bat speed. Everyone talks on TV and a lot of, I hear a lot of kids and coaches, how do you increase your bat speed? This gives you a really accurate recording of what your bat speed was. And you can start to see when you play a good shot, what your bat speed is. When you don't play a good shot, what your bat speed is. It also tells you what angle your bat was lifted. Was it here and the next ball was here? So there's, it's a really good coaching tool to be able to say to your players, well, from the naked eye, it looks the same, but the data is saying that you're picking it up at 140 degrees and, and the next one you're at 190 and then you're at 180. So you've, it gives you a brilliant uh, set of feedback. It, it links into an app which is awesome, which we'll, we'll share all that information in the description below. But really, really cool piece of equipment. And guys, if you want to get one, you can get, again get it through us. Um, all the information will be in the description below. We get 10% off. Um, and if you buy one, it supports what we do here at Cricket Mentoring. So uh, they're not cheap, but they're, they're um, really, really valuable, I reckon. So guys, I, uh, I highly recommend you check that out, the little bat um, sensor at the top here. But that's my bat. That's what I'm using now. Absolutely love this stick, love this from Grove. Um, 
Onto the front part here. Um, what have I got? Oh, this is it. This is the bat sense. So that's what that came in. I've just had that in my kit. In the middle compartment, a few band-aids. Um, if you get a cut or something, I think it's good to have them on hand. Um, some catching gloves. These are old. I used to wear them a bit. Not so much anymore from Grey Nichols. I got them when I used to play in England. More for the cold, but they go on your hands um, like this. And then when you catch, they're padded a bit, so it just gives you a bit of extra padding, especially if you've got a hot spot or something on your hands. Uh, I've got my old headband, which when my hair was long, some of you would have seen me with this in some of my videos when I'm playing. Um, some strapping tape. Uh, always good to have on hand. I, I don't have to strap myself very much. It's sometimes good to put over a logo or whatever. I've got a cricket ball, the Duke's here. Um, don't carry many cricket balls. I've got a separate bag for that, but got one in the bag of Duke's from the UK. Love the Duke's. Um, in this pocket, I have a bunch of cricket mentoring stickers on hand for, to um, sort of give out to people um, I meet, players we play against, or friends or ambassadors or whatever. There's a bunch of cricket mentoring stickers available on our website. If you want some, we've obviously got John Wells and Josh Philippi with stickers on their bats during the big bash at the moment. So I love having them on board as ambassadors. And then I've got a bunch of contact lenses. I, um, I wear contacts when I play or train, so that's just more to have on hand. Um, that's just more to have in case I forget some. I keep a lot in my backpack as well. I just wanna make sure I've got the security of having lots. So that's it pretty much. And then finally, oh, my box. I forgot, just a standard Grey Nichols box. I normally carry two. Um, just in case I lose one or crack one, it's good to have a spare. The other one's in the car. I use it when I coach as well, so that's a spare box. Now guys, this doesn't normally live in my kit. These are quite funky. Grove coloured gloves. They were actually made by Grove for Andrew Ty, Australian bowling, fast bowler or batting or sort of bowling around at Andrew Ty. And he wears these when he plays for the Scorchers in the Big Bash. Obviously the Perth Scorchers, their colours are orange and black. And so he got some custom made gloves. He got a pair of orange and a pair of black. And now he wears one orange and one black. So Grove have kindly donated these and we're gonna give them away to one of our YouTube subscribers. So we're gonna add on some little, some cricket mentoring merchandise. We'll throw in a hat and a shirt. We'll throw in some stickers and some wristbands. And we'll also add on a um, 45 minute coaching call with me. So guys, if you wanna um, win this prize, you have to be a subscriber. So if you don't already subscribe, please click on the subscribe button. Um, on New Year's Eve, we're gonna go through our subscriber list. We're gonna randomly select someone from anywhere in the world, and we're gonna send out um, our gift, our little gift pack. Um, we might also be able to throw some, one or two more things in there, I'll just see what we've got available. So, cool little set of gloves. They're really high quality. They're the top of the range gloves, um, and obviously some cricket mentoring merch as well. So please make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, we'll put them over here. And that, guys, is just about it. I've got a little band in here that I don't use very much, but it can be used for sort of warming up the shoulder or whatever. It just sits at the bottom of my bag. And that is my whole kit bag. So guys, I'll just clean it up a little bit here. I hope you've enjoyed that video. I hope you've, uh, a lot of people have been asking for what's in my kit bag. We're going to try and get some more people to do this sort of thing. Some of our younger athletes, some of our um, senior pros and some of um, international players as well see if we can get them to do a what's in my kit bag so on that note again I said at the start Merry Christmas Happy New Year Happy Holidays if you celebrate this time of year um, thanks a lot for watching this video thanks a lot for supporting Cricket Mentoring we really appreciate you guys taking your time which is really valuable really precious to watch our content so thank you so much um, we are really excited for 2020 and can't wait for you guys to come on the journey with us so I'll see you soon, legends. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking your time out of your busy life to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you got some value, please subscribe below, hit subscribe to our channel. We, we try and publish some really interesting and valuable content for you guys, so subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out our next two videos here below. Make sure you subscribe and also turn on post notifications, and join the CM community by purchasing some merchandise. Link is in the description below. Thanks, legends. Now go out and get it done.